Okay, Adam. Um, one nil victory away here at East East Forrick. Another three points on the board. Um, not not a classic game uh, because of the pitch conditions, I presume. Um, can you give me your, your your overall thoughts on, on on the game as a whole? No, yeah, the best three points of the season so far for me. Um, you know, the pitch there's no getting away from it. It's a real leveller, isn't it? Um, you know how we like to play. Uh, you just couldn't ask the, the players to do that today. So, yeah, we had to resort to playing in their half of the pitch, long balls, you couldn't play back to the goalie. Um, so, for the lads to come and, um, you know, show a different side to them um, and play a completely different way, you know, even give them credit. Uh, and, and I thought, you know, we had some chances first half, but they should have had a couple at the far post and Cow at the bar. Yeah. Um, and it's a game where, you're probably not going to have many chances, but I just thought on the on the night our little bit of quality just showed uh, showed through in the end. Yeah, it, it, it looked in, in the second half like the, the ball was going sort of wider, quicker. Uh, sort of, it, it, it was a bit too straight in the first half, and and then you were getting him in the box, and that's eventually where where, where the goal came from. So that's assuming you spoke about it at half time. Um, yeah, just to um, get it, get it forward, really. Um, like I say, get to win your headers win the clearances and, and, and put it in there half of the pitch and make them defend. Um, if you had time on the ball, you know, I was a bit disappointed when a couple of went straight through to the goalie. Um, you know, you had to put them into areas and make them defend and that was really important tonight. But um, you know, one maybe scared at half chance of a penalty maybe. Um, but you know, I've got to say I thought the ref dealt with it quite well. He was under a, a lot of pressure throughout the game um, and I thought you know, for him to not give that, um, he was quite brave. Yeah. And obviously Cal Callum Keeley, um, since he's come back, I think he's, he's been a revelation. Um, and obviously he's been away at some, some bigger bigger teams than us and come back. Um, and he's the sort of person you want up there in a game like this, isn't he? Big, strong, big, yeah, strong Yeah, definitely. Forward. It gives us a sort of another dimension, doesn't it? We ended up second half going with him and Dejan through the middle and Ollie just in behind him because um, I just felt we... And needed that bit more physicality um, down the down the middle there, and um, yeah, I thought both of them done relatively well with that. Um, just wanted to fresh out with some legs in behind them with Marv coming on, and um, yeah, no, Cal's, Cal's been excellent. Um, but you know, it's it's a real team effort. And the whole team is is grafted tonight, and um, you know, just really chuffed that we've got the three points in the clean sheet. Yeah, obviously you've mentioned the penalty uh, we could have conceded. Um, we was right by it. We, we, we thought it was a, a clear cut, like I say, the referee was brave. But obviously East Forrick are going to be frustrated because they're down towards the bottom of the table yeah. and they're going to feel like that's been their season. Decisions have gone against them. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't think it was a penalty to be honest, but it's just every challenge they sort of congested, um, contested every time two players come together. It, you know, very loud um, shout towards the referee from, from their dugout. Um, so, that's what I'm saying, if you're getting that barrage throughout the game, um, to not give one that's you know right in front of their, their supporters and again, the whole players and the whole of their bench have you know, got to their feet and um, put a bit of pressure on the referee. Um, you know, I think he's given the right decision. Um, and I thought second half we didn't get any decisions, but you know, I didn't think it was a night where we needed both sets of dugouts, both sets of players getting on the rush back tonight. Yeah, obviously, you, you know, you, you've said you've said in the past the refs get get enough stick probably without without everyone jumping on a bandwagon. But like you say, it's, it's a difficult place to come. We, we take we take the three points back to back to Worthing. Thirteen points clear now at the top of the Isthmian Premier League. Nine games to go. I know what you're going to say. <laughs> you're going to say one game at a time, and yeah, that's I'm going to be your mentality. That's it. It's a big game Saturday, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Margate. Um, they beat us down there. Um, so and and and. Fair enough. I think we were second best throughout the night, so you know we've, we've got to turn up and get a count of ourselves Saturday. Um, I say really disappointed for the amount of fans we took down to Margate that night, um, and for us not to turn up was a big disappointment. And the lads haven't done that too many times this year, but yeah, we want to try and put it right Saturday. Okay, Adam. Congratulations tonight. Not a classic, but we'll take it, 100%. and we'll see. And we'll see you Saturday. Cheers, Pete. Thanks, mate.